I want to ask, I want to ask both of you this, and this is kind of veering a little off topic, but it's still in the realm of what we're, what we're discussing, but it's been a, been a concern of mine with Bob Chapek since the beginning. Hmm. He's been, he's been now a CEO for, wow, it's been like, what, like two and a half years. Right. And we hear a lot of, he's had like a lot of these little, like not little, <laughs> pretty big <laughs> fires to put out <laughs> with, with like with Scarjo, with Scarjo and then like, you know, with the park stuff, the Florida bill and all that stuff. Right. But we don't really hear a lot of like the more like um, day-to-day stuff, how he's kind of running the, the company. Right. Because it's like, I want to know. Is he meddling? Is he is he kind of telling if he is he sitting at a table with Feige and telling Feige, no, 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 no. I, I want this in Doctor Strange because it's good for merch sales or something, right? I want to know that. Is he meddling with the creatives or is he backing off? Now, from what I can tell, the fact that we haven't really heard of him meddling kind of indicates to me he hasn't been meddling, which is good. But what do you think, Jay? I, I is this a concern of yours regarding JPEG? What do you think two and a half years in? Where, 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 which, where, where do you stand on this? That's a good question. I haven't, I haven't thought of this before. Um, and I, but I will say, to, to follow up on that last um, conversation you were saying, the, jo- the job description of a Disney CEO or a Disney president should basically be run a business extremely well, but act like you're not running a business, <laughs> right? Like, like, like people don't care. We, the fans don't want to know you're running a business. I mean, the three of us are fans that care about that kind of stuff, but right. for the most people, they don't care that you're running a business. They don't want to know that you're running a business. They want you to feel like, like we talked about last time, uncle Walt, your uncle Walt. And so right. it's, you're going to, yeah, yeah. Uncle, I didn't realize that uncle Walt charged me, you know, Ten thousand dollars to visit his house, but it was fun while I was there, so I ignore it. Um, but but in regards to Chapek and whether or not he's getting involved, uh, here's my guess. Here's my guess for a leader who is very interested in data. And I remember there was the there was one of the financial meetings where there was rumored at least i think it was it was reported on i don't know if it was true or not but Iger kind of like came after chapek a little bit and chapek was like no 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 we do date we make decisions based on data right like right. um and for a, for a person who makes decisions based on data that to me speaks to a to a more analytical individual and i don't think the analytical individuals i don't think they like to put themselves in a place where they're making decisions on creativity what they're okay. with instead as a leader a lot of those kinds of leaders will say look you can do whatever you want to i've given you a budget i've given you uh your you you have an ip to play with make that ip result in more viewers happier viewers we can measure those things as long as you, if the measurements come back really well i don't get involved if the measurements start to come back and the measurements aren't great I probably don't get involved. I probably replace you. So that's, <laughs> that's my kind of feeling for how somebody like Chapek probably runs the company. But Interesting. it would just be spe- pure speculation. I, I, he doesn't strike me as, as a guy who is like a Walt or he strikes me more as a Roy than a Walt yes. or even an Eisner. Because a Walt, a Walt or an Eisner kind of, I mean, let's face it. If Eisner was uh, running Disney now, he would have a vlog. <laughs> like there, he would have people <laughs> following him around. You know, like <laughs> you're so right. <laughs> yeah, so it's like it's like it's kind of funny. It would be an awkward blo- vlog, I think. But <laughs> but I think that Chapex model is more of a Roy, and it's you know he's I'll do the things to make people happy, but I'm not the guy that gets out there and does these things or makes creative right. decisions. So that's that's my assumption about how it's being done that's good i i hope so i hope so i think that's the, i think that, that would be the right approach for him definitely absolutely uh alia what do you think is is chapek meddling with the studio side the, all this stuff or or is he largely hands off and just say hey i'll give you the money just give me a bigger bag of money in return <laughs> basically <laughs> there's uh there's no there's no rumors or whispers about it. So I think he is hands off. I completely agree with how Jay described it. Uh, I think his only idea or his only way of being creative involved was how each 
department you could say has their own story group or their own each vertical has their own story group etc he came up with that idea where all the verticals meet with each other kind of bounce things off of each other um, i remember that rumor that was even in a, a news piece from a trade so i don't know if that's gone forward or anything but that was his way of uh, i'm not going to meddle but i think in a way you should help each other so if you have a question or maybe it's a directive each of the verticals need to meet and, and explain this is what this story is, or in a, in a test screening, we had issues with this. Do you have any, um, our group decided this, do you agree? Kind of that, that way then they're, out, they're outside of it. They're not really personally involved. They're just giving their own creative idea and helping each other out with all their projects. I think that was his idea of how to be creative involved, so. And, and, and that kind, of, kind of still, not, I don't want to do it, but you guys do it. Kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love well, that. That, that cross pollination is very important for, for creativity. So that was actually a very solid idea. If that was Chapex thing, that was actually pretty solid to be honest, you know? Yeah, that, that mm -hmm. even models um, a lot of what, a lot of what has made Pixar a really, and, 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 and if you guys haven't read Creativity Incorporated, you would both love it. It's a book by wow. Ed Catmull one of the founders of Pixar um, oh, cool. and it's about the journey of Pixar and some of the, some of the techniques they put into play um, that because they were a very unique movie studio, they could do things that people filming in live action could not do. And one of the things that they did was they implemented a model where they would say, you're now the director of this project. It's in your hands. Tell the best story you can, but they had, um, they had a storytelling brain trust that that person would come and meet with the rest of the brain trust and the brain trust would give them ideas, tell them where the movie wasn't working for them and they could go back and adapt it because they were, they were filming with things that could be changed relatively easily with 3d yeah. animation. Um, and so that, that model I think is such a fantastic model. It's so good to hear that JPEG is actually trying to do something similar with the different verticals. That's, that's a, really strong leadership move from his point standpoint sector two now function in sector two all droids will be shut down for reloading of labor programs stand by for power disconnect 